Here we go into another very rad problem. This having to do with, well, basically like a classic kind of limits problem. You're given a graph, a funky looking abstract graph, and you're expected to find all the limits that have to do with this graph. This is typical in any calculus class of any level. So let's go right into it. The instructions say find each limit or state why the limit does not exist using the graph below. Recall that when you're finding limits, Graphically, you're saying, as I approach an x value from both sides, what is the y value? And if the y value is the same from both sides, then the limit exists, and it's that y value. All right, so let's start here. The limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x. So we go to negative 2, and I notice that as we approach from the left side here, and then as we approach from the right side there, we approach two different y values. From the left, we approach 5. From the right, we approach positive 2. Those are not the same y values approaching from both sides. And therefore, the limit does not exist. If you've seen my previous videos on this, I'm just going to put D and E. Does not exist. And I'm going to get rid of all those arrows. Otherwise, that is going to clutter up this graph. Okay, so on to the next one. The limit as x approaches negative 7 of this graph f of x. So here's negative 7. As we approach from the left side and the right side, we both approach this value of 5. So the limit is 5. I want to be careful to suggest here, or to mention, not suggest, to mention that the value is not 7, right? We are not finding the function's value at negative 7. We're finding what is the y value we approach from both sides, and that is 5, my peeps. So, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. All right, well, we go to 2 now. As we approach from the left and from the right side, we end up approaching the same exact y value of negative 1. So the limit is negative 1. The limit as x approaches 7 of f of x. Well, let's look at what 7 is. Well, x equals 7, got an interesting thing happening there. As we approach from the left-hand side, we're approaching a y value of 6. But as we approach from the right-hand side, that limit does not stop. It keeps going on and on to positive infinity. So those are two different y values that we approach, and one of those y values happens to be unbounded. That limit does not exist. So I put equals d and e, but really you're just saying it does not exist. The limit as x approaches 12 of f of x. Well, let's see what's happening here. 12 is this point right here, and we're approaching from the left side. We approach a y value of 1. If we approach from the right side, we also approach that same y value of 1. So the limit is 1. Not bad, right, peeps? You've got this in the bag. f of 5. Let's see what that one's all about. So if we go to the x value of 5, f of 5 is not a limit. It's saying, what is the function's value at that point? So it's like we take a helicopter and fly it right to that point. There's no point there. So that one is undefined, right? So you can either put D and E or undefined. There is no defined point there. D and E would be fine in most teachers' expectations, I would think. All right, let's keep going. I'm excited. We've got the second half. The limit as X goes to 5 of F of X. Well, that's as we approach from the left side and right side of 5. We end up at a Y value of 6. So the limit is 6. Not bad at all. Now, let's go to this one. We're told the limit as x approaches negative 10 of f of x. This one's a tricky one. As we approach from the left, wait a second. There is nothing to approach from. You have no track, no curve to approach this value from the left side. You can approach from the right-hand side. We go to 0. But from the left-hand side of negative 10, there is no track on which you can travel. So that limit does not exist. Rad. Very rad. The limit as x goes to 4 of f of x. We go to 4. We go here. As we approach from the left side, we approach a y value of 4. And as we approach from the right side, we approach the same exact y value of 4. And therefore, the limit is equal to 4. Let's keep going, gnarly peeps. f of negative 7. That means don't approach a value, but go right to it. So we approach Nope, we fly right to negative 7. The limit, if you recall, was 5 because that's what we approached from both sides. But now we're looking at this and saying, what is the y value at negative 7? That, my friends, is 7. 
So that is what is the function value at there. Notice there's no limit notation at all indicating that you're approaching. Very important distinction. Approach versus go right for it. Last one. What is the value of f at negative 2? Similar idea. So what, whereas the limit didn't exist because we approached two different y values as we approached x equals negative 2, there is a value of f at negative 2. If you go right here, that's the enclosed circle. So that would be a y value of 5. So an important distinction between the function's value at an x value and then what we're approaching. Y'all, that's it for the video. This is one of those extraordinarily classic problems. We're going to have tons of those as you work through this class, as we go through it together. This is one that's guaranteed to be on your test, no matter what that test is. I'm guaranteeing it. Not the exact graph, but something like it. See you next time.